A man and his wife. A woman didn't come home one night. The next morning, she told her husband that she had slept over at a friend's house. The man called his wife's ten best friends. None of them knew anything about it. A man and his wife. A woman didn't come home one night. The next morning, she told her husband that she had slept over at a friend's house. The man called his wife's ten best friends. None of them knew anything about it. A man didn't come home one night. The next morning, he told his wife that he had slept over at a friend's house. So, the wife called her husband's ten best friends. A man didn't come home one night. The next morning, he told his wife that he had slept over at a friend's house. So, the wife called her husband's ten best friends. Eight of them confirmed that he had slept over, and two said he was still there. Eight of them confirmed that he had slept over, and two said he was still there. A man and his wife. A woman didn't come home one night. The next morning, she told her husband that she had slept over at a friend's house. The man called his wife's ten best friends. None of them knew anything about it. A man didn't come home one night. The next morning, he told his wife that he had slept over at a friend's house. So, the wife called her husband's ten best friends. Eight of them confirmed that he had slept over, and two said he was still there. A man and his wife. A woman didn't come home one night. The next morning, she told her husband that she had slept over at a friend's house. The man called his wife's ten best friends. None of them knew anything about it. A man didn't come home one night. The next morning, he told his wife that he had slept over at a friend's house. So, the wife called her husband's ten best friends. Eight of them confirmed that he had slept over, and two said he was still there. Stone and Stone Breaker A very strict officer was talking to some new soldiers whom he had to train. He had never seen them before, so he began. My name is Stone, and I'm even harder than Stone. So do what I tell you, or there'll be trouble. Stone and Stone Breaker A very strict officer was talking to some new soldiers whom he had to train. He had never seen them before, so he began. My name is Stone, and I'm even harder than Stone. So do what I tell you, or there'll be trouble. Don't try any tricks with me, and then we'll get on well together. Don't try any tricks with me, and then we'll get on well together. Then he went to each soldier, one after the other, and asked him his name. Speak loudly so that everyone can hear you clearly, and don't forget to call me, sir. Then he went to each soldier, one after the other, and asked him his name. Speak loudly so that everyone can hear you clearly, and don't forget to call me, sir. Each soldier told him his name until he came to the last one. This man remained silent, and so Captain Stone shouted at him. When I ask you a question, answer it. I'll ask you again. What's your name, soldier? Each soldier told him his name until he came to the last one. This man remained silent, and so Captain Stone shouted at him. When I ask you a question, answer it. I'll ask you again. What's your name, soldier? The soldier was very unhappy, but at last he replied, My name's Stonebreaker, sir, he said nervously. The soldier was very unhappy, but at last he replied, My name's Stonebreaker, sir, he said nervously. Stone and Stonebreaker A very strict officer was talking to some new soldiers whom he had to train. He had never seen them before, so he began. My name is Stone, 
And I'm even harder than stone. So do what I tell you, or there'll be trouble. Don't try any tricks with me, and then we'll get on well together. Then he went to each soldier, one after the other, and asked him his name. Speak loudly so that everyone can hear you clearly, and don't forget to call me sir. Each soldier told him his name until he came to the last one. This man remained silent, and so Captain Stone shouted at him. When I ask you a question, answer it. I'll ask you again. What's your name, soldier? The soldier was very unhappy, but at last he replied, My name's Stonebreaker, sir, he said nervously. Stone and Stonebreaker. A very strict officer was talking to some new soldiers whom he had to train. He had never seen them before, so he began. My name is Stone, and I'm even harder than Stone. So do what I tell you, or there'll be trouble. Don't try any tricks with me, and then we'll get on well together. Then he went to each soldier, one after the other, and asked him his name. Speak loudly so that everyone can hear you clearly, and don't forget to call me sir. Each soldier told him his name until he came to the last one. This man remained silent, and so Captain Stone shouted at him. When I ask you a question, answer it. I'll ask you again. What's your name, soldier? The soldier was very unhappy, but at last he replied, My name's Stonebreaker, sir, he said nervously. Special House I'm in a big trouble. Why is that? I saw a mouse in my house. Oh, well, all you need to do is use a trap. I don't have one. Special House I'm in a big trouble. Why is that? I saw a mouse in my house. Oh, well, all you need to do is use a trap. I don't have one. Well, then, buy one. Can't afford one. I can give you mine if you want. That sounds good. All you need to do is just use some cheese in order to make the mouse come to the trap. Well, then, buy one. Can't afford one. I can give you mine if you want. That sounds good. All you need to do is just use some cheese in order to make the mouse come to the trap. I don't have any cheese. Okay, then. Take a piece of bread and put a bit of oil in it and put it in the trap. I don't have oil. I don't have any cheese. Okay, then. Take a piece of bread and put a bit of oil in it and put it in the trap. I don't have oil. Well, then put only a small piece of bread. I don't have bread. Then what the heck is that mouse doing at your house? Well, then put only a small piece of bread. I don't have bread. Then what the heck is that mouse doing at your house? Special House I'm in a big trouble. Why is that? I saw a mouse in my house. Oh, well, all you need to do is use a trap. I don't have one. Well, then, buy one. Can't afford one. I can give you mine if you want. That sounds good. All you need to do is just use some cheese in order to make the mouse come to the trap. I don't have any cheese. Okay, then, take a piece of bread and put a bit of oil in it and put it in the trap. I don't have oil. Well, then put only a small piece of bread. I don't have bread. Then what the heck is that mouse doing at your house? Special House I'm in a big trouble. Why is that? I saw a mouse in my house. Oh, well, all you need to do is use a trap. I don't have one. Well then, buy one. Can't afford one. 
I can give you mine if you want. That sounds good. All you need to do is just use some cheese in order to make the mouse come to the trap. I don't have any cheese. Okay then, take a piece of bread and put a bit of oil in it and put it in the trap. I don't have oil. Well, then put only a small piece of bread. I don't have bread. Then what the heck is that mouse doing at your house? The best restaurant. There were three restaurants on the same block. One day, one of them put up a sign which said, "The best restaurant in the city." There were three restaurants on the same block. One day, one of them put up a sign which said, "The best restaurant in the city." The next day, the largest restaurant on the block put up a larger sign which said, "The best restaurant in the world." The next day. The largest restaurant on the block put up a larger sign, which said, "The best restaurant in the world." On the third day, the smallest restaurant put up a small sign, which said, "The best restaurant on this block." On the third day, the smallest restaurant put up a small sign, which said, "The best restaurant on this block." The best restaurant. There were three restaurants on the same block. One day, one of them put up a sign which said, "The best restaurant in the city." The next day, the largest restaurant on the block put up a larger sign which said, "The best restaurant in the world." On the third day, the smallest restaurant put up a small sign which said, "The best restaurant on this block." The best restaurant. There were three restaurants on the same block. One day, one of them put up a sign which said, "The best restaurant in the city." The next day, the largest restaurant on the block put up a larger sign which said, "The best restaurant in the world." On the third day, the smallest restaurant put up a small sign which said, "The best restaurant on this block." Why do you beg? The truth is, I beg to get money for booze. Drink. Why do you drink? To give me the courage to beg. Why do you beg? The truth is, I beg to get money for booze. Drink. Why do you drink? To give me the courage to beg. Why do you beg? The truth is. I beg to get money for booze. Drink. Why do you drink? To give me the courage to beg. Why do you beg? The truth is, I beg to get money for booze. Drink. Why do you drink? To give me the courage to beg. Outsmarted by a woman. When John found out he was going to inherit a fortune when his sickly father died. He decided he needed a woman to enjoy it with. When John found out he was going to inherit a fortune when his sickly father died, he decided he needed a woman to enjoy it with. So one evening he went to a singles bar, where he spotted the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. Her natural beauty took his breath away. So one evening he went to a singles bar. Where he spotted the most beautiful woman he had ever seen, her natural beauty took his breath away. I may look just like an ordinary man, he said as he walked up to her. But in just a week or two, my father will die, and I'll inherit twenty million dollars. I may look just like an ordinary man, he said as he walked up to her. But in just a week or two. My father will die, and I'll inherit twenty million dollars. Impressed, the woman went home with him that evening, and three days later, she became his stepmother. Impressed, the woman went home with him that evening, and three days later, she became his stepmother. Outsmarted by a woman. When John found out he was going to inherit a fortune when his sickly father died. He decided he needed a woman to enjoy it with. So one evening he went to a singles bar, 
where he spotted the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. Her natural beauty took his breath away. I may look just like an ordinary man, he said as he walked up to her. But in just a week or two, my father will die and I'll inherit twenty million dollars. Impressed, the woman went home with him that evening. And three days later, she became his stepmother. Outsmarted by a woman. When John found out he was going to inherit a fortune when his sickly father died, he decided he needed a woman to enjoy it with. So one evening, he went to a singles bar where he spotted the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. Her natural beauty took his breath away. I may look just like an ordinary man, he said as he walked up to her. But in just a week or two, my father will die and I'll inherit twenty million dollars. Impressed, the woman went home with him that evening. And three days later, she became his stepmother. Great mystery. Great mystery. Fifty victims. Paper, mister? Here, boy, I'll take one. Say, boy, there's nothing of the kind in this paper. Where is it? Great mystery. Fifty victims. Paper, mister? Here, boy, I'll take one. Say, boy, there's nothing of the kind in this paper. Where is it? That's the mystery, sir. You're the fifty-first victim. That's the mystery, sir. You're the fifty-first victim. Great mystery. Great mystery. Fifty victims. Paper, mister? Here, boy, I'll take one. Say, boy, there's nothing of the kind in this paper. Where is it? That's the mystery, sir. You're the fifty-first victim. Great mystery. Great mystery. Fifty victims. Paper, mister? Here, boy, I'll take one. Say, boy, there's nothing of the kind in this paper. Where is it? That's the mystery, sir. You're the fifty-first victim. Misunderstanding. The young wife, moved by her football player husband, said, Last night you held my head in your hands and fondled me. I didn't know that you were so much in love with me that you think of me even while you sleep. Misunderstanding. The young wife, moved by her football player husband, said, Last night you held my head in your hands and fondled me. I didn't know that you were so much in love with me that you think of me even while you sleep. The player was surprised. Oh, was that your head? I was dreaming I was surprised that my ball had suddenly grown such long hair. The player was surprised. Oh, was that your head? I was dreaming I was surprised that my ball had suddenly grown such long hair. Misunderstanding. The young wife, moved by her football player husband, said, Last night you held my head in your hands and fondled me. I didn't know that you were so much in love with me that you think of me even while you sleep. The player was surprised. Oh, was that your head? I was dreaming I was surprised that my ball had suddenly grown such long hair. Misunderstanding. The young wife, moved by her football player husband, said, Last night you held my head in your hands and fondled me. I didn't know that you were so much in love with me that you think of me even while you sleep. The player was surprised. Oh, was that your head? I was dreaming I was surprised that my ball had suddenly grown such long hair. Too short for me. In the spring fair, a four-year-old child who got lost was crying. A security guard came to console him and said, If you don't want to get lost, you should have gripped your mother's dress. Too short for me. In the spring fair, a four-year-old child who got lost was crying. A security guard came to console him and said, If you don't want to get lost, you should have gripped your mother's dress. The boy cried, sniffingly, But my mother's skirt was too short for me to grip. The boy cried, sniffingly, But my mother's skirt 
was too short for me to grip. Too short for me. In the spring fair, a four-year-old child who got lost was crying. A security guard came to console him and said, If you don't want to get lost, you should have gripped your mother's dress. The boy cried, sniffingly. But my mother's skirt was too short for me to grip. Too short for me. In the spring fair, a four-year-old child who got lost was crying. A security guard came to console him and said, If you don't want to get lost, you should have gripped your mother's dress. The boy cried, sniffingly. But my mother's skirt was too short for me to grip.